Good evening. Hello, everybody. Um, can you hear me now? Yes. Um, I am Mr. Boughton. I am the choir director here at Fort Vancouver High School. We are so glad to have you here tonight. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, a couple of quick things that I just want to say before we get started. Uh, other than thank you for joining us, um, please wait till in between uh, groups if you need to exit or enter. Um, it just keeps our uh, musicians focused up here a little bit better. Um, and uh, we will be recording tonight, so I invite you to be as present as you're able to be. Um, and it, that, if that means you know, not looking through a, a screen, that's totally fine. We will have uh, a recording going, and we'll make sure that that's able to be distributed to all of you. Um, so uh, enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. And our chamber choir will be singing, uh, Winter Has Come to Start. We are going to do a couple of quick little changes this evening. Uh, hopefully they will move very, very quickly. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's going well. Sopranos and altos, come on up. Um, so uh, the next piece that we're going to sing is called, yeah, Sopranos and altos, you go. Yeah. It's called Al Shlo Shah. Um, this particular piece uh, is in Hebrew, and uh, the, the general meaning of the piece is um, that there are kind of three things that need to lead us, and that's uh, peace, justice, and love. And uh, we wanted, I don't usually dedicate things, um, but there are a lot of children out there being caught in the middle of adults' messes, and we wanted to, uh, um, to dedicate this piece to those kids. Um, so this is Al Shlo Shah, our Sopranos and Altos. 
Our next little shift, uh, I promise these are quick, um, is uh, we're bringing up our tenor and bass choir. And just to be able to say our tenor and bass choir makes me really, really happy. Um, I think we've got about, eight. yeah, yeah, do the thing. Yeah, come on up. Um, it's absolutely awesome uh, to be able to have a tenor bass choir uh, in a high school setting. I'm unbelievably proud of the work that they're doing. They're just going for it, and they sound really, really good, too. Um, so often in high school, it's like, hey, are you a tenor or a bass? Great. You can breathe? Great. Get on stage. Um, and this group really it sings beautifully. Uh, and I'm super excited to present uh, our tenor bass choir for the first time ever, actually. Uh, and this is Silent Night.
This last piece is going to be one, well, sorry, this last piece that we're doing, because they'd be so mad at me if we didn't do the carols. Um, this last piece that we're kind of singing before you're also put on the spot um, is uh, a piece that about three weeks ago, I said to Miss Pittman, uh, I was like, I sent her a text, and I was like, hey, what do you think would happen if we threw Carol of the Bells at them? Like, kind of being like, oh, I wonder. And she's like, I mean, we might as well try. We'll see what happens. And uh, so, like, two and a half to three weeks ago, we started working on this piece that we're about to sing for you. Um, it is, this particular piece uh, is one that a lot of you will probably know. And it's a really, um, it, it's a very simple piece, but that means there's nothing to hide behind. Um, and it's one of those pieces that, like, everything just has to line up or it's just not right. And they have done such an incredible job in three weeks. Um, so enjoy Carol of the Bells. And now, um, it's your turn. So, uh, there, I, we put them in every other one. I know that it's not in every single one. It's okay, you can share. Um, there are lyric sheets for a couple of carols that we figured we'd sing together. There's four of them. We're gonna start with Let It Snow, and let's it. Oh 
Pinocchio. We never let poor Rudolph, Rudolph, join any reindeer game. It's like Monopoly. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, oh, oh, oh. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Thank you so much, folks. You're, I, I'm just warning you, uh, band and orchestra kids, you sound awfully good back there. I might come looking for you. Be careful. Um, so before we sing our last carol... My goodness. So anyways, um, before we sing our last piece tonight, uh, I have to... Um, it is beyond helpful uh, when we have uh, a pianist in the room um, that is not me. Uh, and I cannot uh, begin to thank Miss Pittman enough for the work that she's done with us this year. So, so helpful for us. Thank you. And the last thing is, is before, um, so we're gonna sing our last one uh, with all of you, and then uh, we will probably push this stuff back so we can close the front curtain and get all of our changing out for orchestra going. Um, so just so that you're aware, the closing curtains, that's a great time to get up, stretch your legs if you need to. Um, it'll just be a couple of minutes. We're usually pretty quick at this. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for being here and enjoy. Christina Johnston. I'm the uh, orchestra director here at Fort, and we are going to start with a couple of tunes that we did for our winter tour. Um, the last few years, we've gone on a winter tour, and what that is, is we go caroling at retirement centers uh, locally here in Vancouver, so we were able to do that last week. It's a lot of fun, uh, so the first couple of tunes are some of those that we, that we played. We're going to start... Um, I realize I left my music off stage, so give me just a second. Thank you. 
our last piece, oh, sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> our last piece is a Hanukkah piece called Light the Candles. You're going to hear two different melodies, um, and then at the end they kind of come together. Um, so it sounds really, really cool. This is a really fun piece for us. I'm really proud of this group. We've done a lot of really good work this term, and I'm looking forward to what the future holds for us. So. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here and supporting your students in music. It means the world to them and it means the world to me. Thank you. Uh, give, us, give us just a moment and we're going to switch with the band. We good? Is this the right one? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for staying this evening. This is the Fort Vancouver High School Concert Band for 2023 and 2024. Um, We're going to begin our portion of the show uh, with a piece by Elliot Del Borgo entitled Songs of the Whalemen. It features two, uh, two melodies from the British Isles. The first one is called Adieu to Aaron, in other words, Goodbye Ireland. And the second one is called Blow Ye Winds. Thank you. 
Okay. Songs of the Whaleman by Elliot Del Borgo. This next piece we're going to do is kind of a hard right turn. We're going to go back a couple hundred years. Uh, this is a, originally was an organ piece written by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, in my opinion, one of the top three greatest composers, in my opinion. Okay. Anyway, um, uh, Bach was an organ builder, an organ player. He, he taught choir. He played violin, cello. Um, he wrote more stuff than I can imagine. He's got the thickest entry in the music encyclopedias of all the composers in the Western music repertoire. Um, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, this is a transcription of this piece that was originally written for organ, and just so you got some kind of an idea, uh, the organ would have had a keyboard up here for his right hand, he would have had another keyboard down here for his left hand, and then there's a keyboard for his right foot. So he can really get a lot accomplished. There's easily four melodies happening at the same time, even though he only has so many hands. Uh, it's pretty extraordinary. This is Prelude and Fugue. Um, by Johann Sebastian Bach, all about um, sort of a mathematical um, enterprise, an, a, a mathematical game for composers uh, in 1720, uh, trying to write music that um, where you have multiple melodic lines happening at the same time, all of which have to fit together perfectly to make beautiful music. Let's see how he did.
Okay. Well, let's see. I've got to say something. It'll be brief. I want to be sure I thank all the people that have been helping make this band a success. Uh, it doesn't just happen uh, with me or all the people that work in the school. It happens from community support and parent support. Uh, and we have had so many people dedicate so many hours to help us this fall uh, with uh, Veterans Day parades, getting into uniforms, chaperoning, uh, really getting set up, uh, setting us up with uniforms on stage. Uh, so I want to thank Melanie and Bob Bryant. I want to thank uh, Michelle Balkenhole. I want to thank Deanna. And I want to thank Stacy and Joanna Walters, who are here tonight. So can we give them a big round of applause for all their support? That having been said, uh, this is a holiday concert. We build it as such, and so you've got to get some holiday music from us. And so this last piece we're going to do is uh, kind of a mashup of three different Christmas melodies. Uh, I realized, personally, I grew up with a mother who was a singer in church, and so all we did were the traditional Protestant Christmas carols. That was Christmas music to me. And when I raised my daughter, I learned that um, Christmas music is different for different people. Not everyone listens to just Silent Night. Uh, and a lot of people understand Christmas music to be the music that we hear in the Christmas holiday movies. And so on that note, here is Christmas at the movies. We're going to feature um, one of the main themes from Jack Skeleton in Nightmare Before Christmas. And then we will hear the, the holiday theme from uh, Home Alone. And we, will, and we will end with a really catchy melody from the Polar Express. Here's Christmas at the movies.
I just want to say thank you so much to all the families and friends who support your friends and students uh, for making their experience in the arts happen. Uh, I promise it's going to make it has already made wonderful people out of them. That's for all the musicians who have performed tonight that have been interacting with music for so many years. Music just uh, turns everyone it hits into beautiful people. And they're back here, and they're up on stage right now. It's really wonderful. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in March, where we will be performing our Step Up concerts at that time. Uh, the Fort Band will be performing with the McLaughlin Middle School Band and the McLaughlin Middle School Beginning Band. So you'll be able to see, if this rocks your world, the beginning, where it all starts, and then where it ends up in their senior year. It's really exciting. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening.